Hello everyone, welcome to Hermitcraft episode 8. It's good to see you. Last episode, we worked a ton on this little dock area, getting a lot of details in. And I want to kind of start off right where we left off in the last episode, because a lot of you are telling me things about these power lines. First of all, I love all the fun facts that you're giving me. I did try to get like a little transformer thing with the, I don't know, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I'm going to keep adjusting the power lines, but something that keeps coming up is the fact that I should use leads to get this droopy effect. And while I do agree, leads would probably be cleaner, I'm not gonna use them. And I'm, I'm gonna go show you why right now. Gonna need some seeds for this. And you know what? A couple of leads might actually be helpful for this, but not necessarily for the build part. Now, that is exactly what I was looking for. Hey, little guy, what you doing? Yeah, nice. Right, one bird down. Let me go see if I can find another one. Is that an LA? Dude, I don't know what you're doing here, but I don't think you're meant to be here. Come here. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> oh, now is not the time. Now is so not the time, dude. Oh, come on, bird. Come on, bird. You could do it. Great. That's just great. Where's Dragon Guy? Oh, there he is. Hey, dude, you wanna give me that? I really need those. Just, in I just, please. No, okay. Well. This is not the squad that I thought that I would have, but um, let's go get some more birds. <laughs> Here we go, here's another little guy. Come, come on, come on. Oh, that was a lot, that was a lot of seeds, dude. You see that, that was a lot. Okay, uh, the, I, didn't, I didn't know this was gonna be an LA rescue mission, I'll be honest, so I think we'll take two birds and that'll be enough. Oh, they got off my shoulder, okay. You know what? They can all fly, they'll be fine. Whew, home sweet home. Okay, now for what I wanted to actually show you today. Come on, birds. Come on, that's it. Oh, up on the house is actually cute, but I kind of wanted you over here on this wire. Yeah, yeah, come on, come on. That's it, D no, not on here. Not on yeah, there you go. Okay, you sit right there, perfect. You see how cute that is? You can't do that with leads. You can't put birds on them if they're leads. I, and I, I agree, the iron bars look a little dumb and the chains, it's unfortunate that they don't bend. But I think that we're gonna make the iron bars work. And I, I absolutely love that little detail. It's really gonna add to the tropical feel around here. He's so cute, look at him. Okay, you're a little stuck, I see. I do see that. Oh, sit. Perfect. Bird on the wire. Are you seeing the vision? Oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> what an immersive way to kind of bring the jungle in. Obviously, at the moment, the space is a little hard to visualize because we just have the structures, but we need to remember that we're doing terrain, structures, and then organics. Organics, a lot of them are gonna come last. Some of them are going to be custom trees, which I guess, I don't, that's not really organics, it's kind of like landscaping. And then, of course, we're gonna do more fishes and other horrible things. So, <laughs> the, it doesn't look super jungly right now, but it will, it will, and I think the birds will fit in great. And secretly, uh, Etho came by. This was Etho's idea. This is, I can't take credit. This was fully Etho's idea. He told me that I should do this. And I fully agree. That looks fantastic. I can't wait to show him later. If I'm gonna babysit this LA, I'm also gonna duplicate it so that I can have an LA. God, that song is creepy. <laughs> They're friends. Cute. Come on, dude. Last night, I got the chance to tell Skiz, Etho, and Pearl where I want my mailbox, and I picked out my lighthouse, because I think it would be such a cool spot to get mail from. And by looking in here, ah, uh, <laughs> very funny, Tango. Very funny. <gasps> oh my god, Tango has given me a beacon. <laughs> Whoa, I did not expect that. And way more iron than I need. That's so nice. Oh my gosh, Tango, you're the best. Kinda also nice to have a shulker box, not gonna lie. I was thinking about using a beacon in one of my designs and maybe even having a beacon shooting out of the lighthouse. So thank you, Tango, that'll be super useful. Green's been asking in chat if uh, anybody has a throwaway permit. And you know what? We've been focusing so much on these permits that I have, the coral, the tridents, the moss. I haven't even really talked to you about my nether bricks permit. 
And I feel like I don't want it. You know what? Green's my neighbor. He can have it. Let's just go ahead and bring this on over to him. What have you got that you don't want? Oh, I desperately do not want all the nether bricks. Oh, nether brick. Which yeah. I guess, yeah, includes nether rack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. Yeah, okay. Well, just for full transparency, I promised Wells Knight a mystery permit, but the mystery permit that I was going to give him is one that I've already gathered st stuff for, so <laughs> this is a lifesaver. So he's going to get, he's going to get nether brick. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm sure, he might he'll just give thrilled. this away to the next person. He'll be thrilled. Yeah. No, he'll love it. He'll love, everybody loves that. Everybody wants that, of course, except me, not me. Uh, well, I, I, I don't want it either. Uh, <laughs> this is great. Perfect. <laughs> How does that look? No, that's not work. quite connected yet. Close though, on the right track. I want that. Oh. The big crane you got over there. Yeah, I'm, we're, we're, I'm working on it. Working on got it. All right, all right, that's nice. Oh, let's go, let's go. Parkour champion over here, let's go. Look at you. Did you see that? Did you see the skills of Kawu? Very good. Nobody can match Kawu in Everyone's jumping. Everyone's proud of you. So proud. Thank you. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, I made it. I made it to the top. Oh, come on now. Wonderful. What the heck? Larry? <laughs> <laughs> what is that on the back of the train? I go to the permit office for five minutes. And what the heck? What are you talking about? What is the snail? The giant snail on the back of the train. You didn't build that? It's on your train scar. Come on. It is on your train scar. It's clearly a part of your group. Yeah. Well, I mean, it looks quite nice, but no, I didn't do it. And there's those scoundrel little snails on the top up there. Huh. I didn't know they could build. Nice. Apparently, they're quite the builders over there. Sorry, Kawu. Sorry, Kawu. What the heck? It's, is that straight up Larry? <laughs> <laughs> that is some good snail work. Yeah, those those snails can really build. My god, they are talented. Oh. <laughs> they're, they're very talented that snails. That is something else, Gran. They are really good at what they do. My god. What have you hooligans been up to? Those are some talented snails, Huskar. Look at them. Aren't you proud of them? Oh, Quite the builders. Look. It's even got little eyes on top. They do have little eyes. I had to move a little closer and I did see them now. They are talented little fellows. Is that Larry? It's, I guess, uh, it's, it's a snail. It's snail. Yeah. Is it? it what do I, I don't do? know. What? Ask them, Scar. We didn't oh, do it. Geez. Fine, fine. <laughs> Hello, little G. He's and talking to them. <laughs> they don't speak your language. With this giant snail now on my train. <laughs> it's perfect, Scar. It fits right in. It does, I guess. I guess. D don't they know that's the feed car location? I don't think they know a lot. <laughs> yeah. Not very many thoughts behind those eyes, Scar. Look yeah, those eyes. There's, there's, they've got maybe one brain cell between them. Yeah. Well, then they make one big brain cell. That's nice. Well, they made one big snail. Maybe that's where they got the idea from. That's, that's where the true. brain cell went. Yeah. It's all used up now. What do I do with this? See you later. Good luck. <laughs> Mister, I, I have something to speak with you about, too. You come back here. I got... <laughs> <laughs> well, that gives me even more range. reason to run away. <laughs> <laughs> Not here, closed. Not loud. No coming in. Construction site. Construction oh, no. site. Construction site. Hi, Pearl. Hello. I I decided I would help Tango and Etho a little bit. Wow. <laughs> I'm trying my best. I really want special redstone on mine where there's a beacon hooked up to it that goes off. Do you think ah, you can handle see, that? I, no, yeah, look, it'll be the pearl version. If you're happy with the pearl version. <laughs> Will the pearl, is the pearl version functional? <laughs> it's always activated. You've always got mail, Jim. It's just whenever it sends power to this, it also needs to send power to a sticky piston that puts a block over a beacon. Or I mean, well, that's e weekend, right? That's easy. It's just not gonna. It, like I said, it's gonna be the pearl version of it. So it'll look. <laughs> it might look bad. You know what? <laughs> On second thought, maybe I'll call Tango. Oh, okay. <laughs> Your faith in me is starting to go downhill. I see it. Uh, no, I'm I have. I mean, saddened. this looks. This looks fantastic. Wow. We. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I try, you know, I totally didn't just copy it from... I'm so glad it fit, mostly. 
Yeah, so I actually wanted to move it, it like over so it's touching the wall more, but then it wouldn't have been centered to the doorway. Mm -hmm. It would have been too heavy over this side, so I put it a bit more in the middle. Yeah, this works. But this is fine. It just meant that I had to come out towards the doorway one block, sadly. Epic. Well, I'm so ha I'm so excited. I'm gonna have mail. This is amazing. Thank you. I can't wait to get around like just like see everybody hooked up and using this thing. Mm hmm. Non-functioning mailboxes aside, it's time to actually go ahead and do what I had planned on getting done today. It's uh, it's not been a very productive episode so far. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sometimes it just be like that. I swear I should do an episode sometime where I just sit at my base and see how many people come by. Because I feel like it'd be a lot. It'd be a lot of people. Anyways, I have been slowly collecting up a whole bunch of items for a build that I want to do out on the coral reef. After all, now that we're finally down to the four permits that I actually want to sell things from, we need to really start thinking about them, especially the coral one. We handled sea pickles in the previous episode, but uh, sea pickles are definitely not the only thing we need. We also need coral blocks. You know what? This is probably a great time to use the shulker box Tango gave me. This should do it for materials, I think. Today, I would like to go ahead and set up a sort of second base of operations out at the coral reef. Since coral blocks are not farmable in vanilla, we're going to need a place where we can easily sleep, store stuff, and probably connect with a portal. And that way we can go out and farm whenever the shop gets low. I've decided since I have this nautical theme going anyways, we're basically just going out and researching the coral reef. After all, something's destroying it, something. Who knows what's destroying it really? Could be anything. It's a very fragile ecosystem. Yep, it's just as I suspected. This reef right here, this would appear to be the perfect spot to set up my little research camp. This little sandbar is now going to be my base of operations for all of my work out here. All I gotta do is create a little platform right about here where I can set up a portal and a bed and things and be able to come back and forth super easily. All right, first platform is in. This will be the one that has the bed and the chests and things that allows me to store and set up. Now I want another platform adjacent to this that I can connect to with a little simple bridge. Honestly, oh, I might just go straight this way. That'll probably work. And then we do a tinier one that has like the portal. Also kind of gonna need a way onto this platform from the water. So let's go ahead and just make a little wharf here. Yeah, there we go. That'll help. That really didn't take too long at all, and it'll go a long way having a nice platform out here to do all of my work. Now, of course, comes the uh, not so fun part. I wanna use this platform right here as a way to get here without having to use boat or elytra, just, y you know, I, I need a portal. I need a portal to actually be able to get here a lot easier. And so, there we have it. Now you may be thinking correctly, I don't have a portal at my base. And that's okay, we're gonna use impulses. <laughs> at least until I figure out where I want my actual portal. This is probably the longest part of this whole process, but in other fantastic news, that actually looks pretty cool. Makes a little new point of interest out here at the reef. All right, I'm using Tango's portal here just for a moment. Welcome to the roof of the nether. Now we've gotta go over here and should be able to plop a portal and connect up. If I've done my math correctly, this should be where I need to be in order to have the portals connect. There we go. And of course, we'll make a quick sign so we don't confuse anyone. Let's see if I did this correctly. Oh, I did! <laughs> For some reason, I'm always amazed when that actually works. All right, that should have made getting around out here a lot easier. Now, all I wanna do is just decorate this whole platform a little bit. I wanna make it look like a proper research center. So I've brought a bunch of these concrete blocks. I've got some acacia here to hopefully help with the aesthetic. I think we could also probably get some acacia trap doors to cover up the sides a bit, just like so. Yeah, perfect. 
it. Since I'm going for a research center type aesthetic, I want to match the portal build with another little kind of researchy themed build over here. Maybe a little bigger than that. Literally just a tiny little build right over here where I can put a couple of chests and my bed. It'll be functional, but it'll also kind of give that sleek, modern research center type of look. I also really do want to put one of my starter house boats out in this way. So I'm going to kind of copy that aesthetic with some of the tires off the side of this platform here, just in various places. It is so simple and tiny, but I actually think that it's pretty effective. I mean, we have to keep in mind that this, at the end of the day, is pretty much literally just a place for me to come and farm coral. So it doesn't have to be like crazy complex. It just has to be like kind of remotely functional and give me a little landmark out here to come to and be excited about. I'm thinking if I want this to be even more of a landmark, I need a lot more detail blocks than what I have actually brought. I mean, I'm thinking a crane would look really good, potentially lifting things off the beach here, maybe a big kind of satellite tower sort of thing so we can communicate with our base back at home. I have ideas, and for those ideas, I'm gonna need to go back and get some materials. While I was back at my base grabbing materials, Cup came by to pick up his child. Hello, hello. Hello, Cub. How are you? I'm <laughs> good. I've been babysitting. This is your child. That's, that's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. <laughs> Where did you find this this guy at? Just in the water over there. Really? Because I lost him in mountains behind my house. Oh. In my base area. It was holding the a pole. He was kind of near ZF, so like in the water by that. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I got you. Yep. Hmm. I well. will attach him to a fence post. And then you can okay. take him from said fence post. You may have to uh, remove his pufferfish that he's holding currently. There you go. All right, so now I think <laughs> Now you're just... besties. I think he should follow me. Let's see. Does he follow? Oh my gosh, he's going to get lost again. I know it. <laughs> he's, he's not, not the brightest. Me. There's not so many thoughts behind those eyes. <laughs> oh, he, oh, he hears the note block. That's why he's sticking around here. Yeah. And he triggers the note block, so it's it's a constant cycle. I see. I see. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll drag him away from here, then. I'll drag him away. Come on, guy. Gee. <laughs> Dealing with note blocks and everything. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Come on. There he goes. Okay. You, We're off, Jim. Thank fun. you. Have fun. Yep. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you for taking him. Oh, yeah. Uh, the duplicated one just down here. Also trying to get to that note block. <laughs> I love Alays though. They're so cute. They don't exactly fit with the creepy vibe, but I think I can still use them. They're really cute when they're. Maybe I could have one on the fishing rod. Oh, never mind. I have ideas. I have ideas. Not for today, though. Today we have other plans. I think this should be enough materials to get me through some detailing. So let's go back and get to work. Let's begin with this structure over here, which should be pretty simple. I'm thinking maybe just a copper rod, and then in this opposite corner, maybe build it up a bit more with a wall and have it look like some sort of fancy antenna. Yeah, that's right. My shop may require absolutely zero redstone to pull off, but I'm still gonna use it in the build. <laughs> Mostly, because I think that looks pretty cool as some sort of radio tower. I also wanted to create a more modern look around this particular tower, so I'm gonna delete a small section of the roof and have some just different shapes and colors coming through here to add some contrast. Yeah, this is looking better already. Now all it needs is some height. And there we go, just like magic, some height out on the coral reef. I feel like that breaks up the flat horizon just wonderfully. Yeah, basically just the final details of this base now. I want to get a few hanging signs here and just see if it would work for railing. I like the pop of color that the red gives. I didn't bring quite enough mangrove to finish the job, but I feel like this will give us a pretty good idea either way. I think it'll actually be really exciting to have kind of a base away from home a little bit. It'll be interesting to see what else I can add out here, but for now, this is certainly a lovely start. Need a boat in the water, of course. You know what? 
I like it. My little coral research center. This is perfect. I can literally just come out on the reef now. Perhaps I can put a beacon and a conduit in this area as well and just be kind of ever expanding this little platform, add some boats and stuff. And I can just spend a ton of time. Mostly, I'll be honest, there's gonna be a lot of off camera or stream grinding, which is great. It's nice to have some grindy projects. I'll be able to come over here and just harvest coral as I please. But with that, everyone, I believe that is all the time that I have today. Weird circumstance, but there is a snowstorm coming in real life. So um, I'm gonna go prepare for that and I'll be able to grind some coral whilst in a blizzard, which I think sounds absolutely fantastic. I love a grinding Minecraft job while I'm stuck inside. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you next time.